This is Fabuli Graeci 26, sentences 1 through 3. We're in centaur country here, folks. All right. As soon as, now those two words together, you can see down here, as soon as. So they, they work together there. As soon as the jug, amphora, weenie of wine, aperta est, was opened. Okay, and it's full of the best wine. Excuse me. Here's our verb. This guy's passive. It's a perfect passive. Yeah, perfect passive. And the subject is here, the jug. Big S for the subject. And you can see that this is really nice. There's a little subject phrase here. That's the subject. And this is the adjective that modifies the subject, and it sandwiches the um, weenie optimi right there. It's an amphora full of the best wine. So really nice word order there. It really makes it um, easy to read if you're a Roman. Now, so this is perfect passive, and the subjects here, subject gets acted upon. This is always tough for folks. The jug was opened. As soon as the jug was opened. All right. Now, I do want you to take note. We've got a superlative form of the adjective. And this is an irregular one. This is bonus, melior, optimus, good, better, best. So I'm going to cover that a little bit. As soon as it got opened, an odor, eucundissimus, there's another superlative there. All right, eucundissimus. All right, superlative. Yeah, so it's, it says uh, eucundus, Let's see, do we have that one? We don't have that one. It means pleasant. So this is most pleasant. A most pleasant odor. Diffusus est spread out undique everywhere. All right. And let's get, uh, just want to get to verbs here. Another perfect passive. Yeah. All right. And your subject is right here. No direct objects here, because we're dealing with passive verb forms. For the wine was the sweetest. Oh, look at this. Another superlative. Here, all right. Three in a row. Fantastic. Sweet, sweeter, sweetest. For the wine was the sweetest or extremely sweet, however you want to translate it. <coughs> it's a superlative. The centaurs detected the familiar smell. Okay, now we've got subject here. All right, it's perfect active. And we've got our subject, big S, right here. The centaurs, plural verb, plural subject. And then we have our DO, DO, direct object right there, odorem, right? Accusative, right there. So, yeah, that's an active sentence. Perfect. Active. So, an active verb can take a direct object. And they all, meaning the centaurs, they all gathered at the place. All right, there's verb, perfect active again. And here's our subject right there. When they arrived at the cave. Okay, here's our verb, perfect active again. Subjects understood. They were extremely angry. Okay, I love this. 
adverb magnopere. It's actually magno and opera by a big amount. They were angry. Okay, it's a predicate nominative there. Okay, the subject is actually the centaurs, but this is a predicate adjective. The centaurs were angry, not the angry centaurs were, because they saw Hercules drinking. Okay, verb, perfect, active, and the subject is understood, the centaurs, and here is our direct object, and this is the present active, oops, I don't know what that's doing there, participle. Oh yeah, modifying Hercules, he's drinking, and you know, I-N-G, that's what characterizes the translation, the English translation of the present active participle. And they wanted to kill Tholus. All right. Here's our main verb, right there, imperfect, and then this is our complementary infinitive. It is a present active infinitive, and it does have its own direct object, volum. All right. Now, don't forget to review this vocabulary down here for Quizlet Live. Hope you enjoyed the show.